Hello there and welcome back to another Python video. Have you ever found yourself in a situation when you wanted to load test your web application? If the answer to this question is yes, then I think I may have found a solution for you. If you <coughs> look around in Python and looking for load testing frameworks, you will find a couple of those already in the existence and basically I I find myself using Locust lately more and more because it's pretty easy and convenient to get started with it so in this video I would like to show you how you can get started with it and let's jump right into it so basically what I did was to prepare a virtual environment and here the Locust module is installed. We are going to create a Flask web application, which is going to be needed for the load testing. So first, let's create our Flask application. Let's call this test app.py and from Flask we import the Flask module and create our application the underscore name and the app that route we will have three context routes the first one is called index and it will return ok and the second one is called uh, about and this will also return ok and the third one is going to be called random and basically R R and D M. what we would like to do is to sleep for either 0 or 2 seconds or anything in between and then return <coughs> ok so in order to make this work we need to import from the random module the rand int and from time we need to import sleep just to make sure that this is working as expected we would like to take it for a test drive yeah and don't forget the most important if name equals main we would like to call the app that run we don't need a debug or, or anything like that. We just want to verify that this application is working. So it's responding on the default context route. It is responding on the random context route. And it is responding on the about context route. So let's create our first test in Locust. So here we have to create a locust file and inside this file we need to import from the locust module the http user and the task. Then we create a class hello world user which will inherit from the http user base class and we will have a decorated function and basically this is where we will define what context route we would like to test so we use the self that client that get default context route about and the random and save it now what we can do is to open a new terminal navigate to the desktop to the appropriate folder and here we activate the virtual environment and issue the locust, locust command uh, you will see here that there is a URL which we can visit and once we visit this URL we will have the option to define the number of users the spawn rate 
and the host that we would like to test. So let's grab our URL from here and paste it here. And we would like to have 10 users with a spawn rate of two. And let's start swarming. So <clears throat> on the statistics page, you will see, hold on, on the top right corner, we have the stop, the reset starts, number of users can be edited, and we have the host as well. So on the statistics page, we will see uh, the number of requests that have been made so far, how many of it failed, what's the median, uh, the 90 percentile, the 99 percentile, the average response. So since we uh, respond with a random value between 0 and 2, the average should be around two, 2 seconds or 1 second. And we have an aggregated as well. We also have charts and these charts are going to show us the request per second, the failures per second, the response times, and number of users. We also have an option to download it as a PNG file, but for now it is not really relevant. And uh, we also have exceptions. We have the current ratio and we have the download data. So we could download the report and this is how it would look like. I think this is a pretty fancy way of uh, load testing your application. And uh, we also have the option to customize this locus file. And in the next video, we will take a look at how you can do it. So see you in the next one.